The Ecology and History of Lake Baikal Lake Baikal is the world's oldest and deepest lake, around 25 million years old and at its deepest point around 5,387 feet deep. It is located in the southeastern part of Siberia, near the Irkutskaya Oblast. Lake Baikal formed when two landmasses separated and left a crater, which filled in with water from rainfall and rivers. The main rivers that feed Lake Baikal are the Selenga River, Barguzin River, Upper Angara, Turka River, the Sarma River, the Snirnaya River, and the Lower Angara River. There are more rivers that feed the lake, but they are much smaller and therefore do not account for much of the lake's water. Lake Baikal is more than 370 miles across and contains about 20% of the world's unfrozen freshwater, approximately 5,700 cubic miles of water, or about as much as all the Great Lakes combined. It is home to many varieties of plants and animals, such as the Baikal omul, which is often fished and smoked, the Epistura baikalensis, a species of zooplankton which clears Lake Baikal by eating the dirt particles that pollute the lake, and of course the famous furry Baikal seal, one out of only three species of freshwater seals in the world. Together, Lake Baikal hosts 2,365 species of plants and animals, 1,085 of them being plants and 1,550 of them being animals, with more than 80% of both found only at or in Lake Baikal. The reason why there is so much life in Lake Baikal is because it is oxygenated evenly down to a great depth. Now we will delve into the history and discovery of Lake Baikal, starting with the native exploration of it. Lake Baikal was thought of as a sea by ancient indigenous people. The ancient Chinese called Lake Baikal the North Sea, while ancient Russian explorers called Lake Baikal Ozera Baikal, which meant the Baikal Sea. Kurbat Ivanov was the first Russian-European person to reach Lake Baikal in the year 1643. At the time, Russia was spreading to the Siberian area, which was then largely uninhabited. After that expedition, many other European explorers went to Lake Baikal, although at a great cost. Most people will get frostbite and die while trekking across the snowy Siberian woods to Lake Baikal. After the Trans-Siberian Railroad was finished in the year 1902, getting to Lake Baikal became much easier and more people came to the lake. Small towns or villages were formed along the shores of the lake. A small paper mill was made near the shore of Lake Baikal. It was closed in 2008, but reopened in 2010 much to the concern of the locals. There was also a proposal for an oil pipeline running near Lake Baikal, but which could potentially rupture, and a nuclear plant near the shore that would enrich uranium. If you enjoyed this documentary, give it a thumbs up, a favorite, or subscribe for more videos.